G'day Brewtubers, Daniel here from Abernethy Brothers Brewing. Today I'm going to do a first impressions and hookup of the Plato keg management system. Stick around. Okay, so the Plato Keg Management System, or Plato Keg for short, is a device that's aimed to sit underneath a keg. It's essentially a scales, and it will record the weight of the keg. And as you pour a beer from the keg, it will take the weight of the, each pour, and it'll give you a readout on their app to tell you how much is left in the keg. It's a fairly um, basic kind of setup. The moulding here is just black plastic. It's uh, got some indicator lights down the bottom here and I'll show you how that is set up. There's a, a notch out here where the um, power cable goes. This is a USB power cable. This comes with the keg unit. The charger or the power unit does not. So that's something you need to add. On the bottom side of the Plato keg You've got three of the weight bearing pads. They're kind of like got a silicon style coating, so uh, relatively soft. So why was I interested in investing in the Plato keg system? I have been curious uh, over a long period of time how much beer is left in the keg. And there are a few different options you can go for. The option to date in, in essence has been flow meters, where you would put a, a meter in line in the beer line and that meter would record how much beer was going through the line and therefore tell you how much uh, was being poured subtract that from the initial volume that'll tell you how much is in the keg these are expensive devices they are also because they're in line they do require cleaning you've obviously got beer in contact with the system they're reasonably complex they require uh, specific software to uh, to run them and I was really keen on the Plato keg for a number of reasons. One, it's simplicity. Two, it's not interfering with the beer flow. Three, it integrates really well with Brewfather. I haven't hooked them up yet, but let's uh, have a bit of a look and check it out. And ease of installation, where you merely just put it underneath the, the keg. Uh, they also advise that this can be placed, or these can, uh, a Plato keg can be placed underneath a CO2 canister, and you can also record the amount of CO2 that you use over time, and give you a warning when you're starting to get low uh, for CO2. Anyway, we'll go next to the computer and we'll hook one of these up. Right, hey, eh? the way you connect your Plato keg is to set it up through your Wi-Fi system and add it to the Plato Keg app. So you download the Plato Keg app. I'll just show this on the screen. Here it is here. I have actually set up three Plato Kegs already. I do have a Series X Kegland Kegerator and got four of the Plato Kegs. Be uh, interested to see actually how they all fit and whether they're tight or whether there's movement. Um, could be a disaster, but we'll see. So the first thing you do is you plug your Plato keg power. And you'll see that there are three flashing lights on the front. So then you go to the unit. You want to add a new device. It asks for the Wi-Fi connection you're on and it asks if you're ready. I'm ready. Let's go. So it requires that you set up the Wi-Fi connection directly to the Plato keg device. So you go to the Wi-Fi network. You'll see a Plato keg option. You wait for that. You return to the Plato app. It runs through configuration of the device. 
you'll see that the lights, the three lights have gone solid. It's doing a final check and now it's asked me what I want to call this particular pad or the particular Play-Doh keg. I'm going to call it Tap 4. As I said, I've already set up three others. Just wanted to make sure I knew what the hell I was doing. So tap four, press done, and finish. And then this comes up with a screen. The screen shows you the weight that's currently on the pad. Obviously there's nothing on the pad. If I just grab a box of tissues here, place it on the top, you'll see, oh you might be able to see, it's reading 0 0.4, 0 0.54 kilograms. I'll give you a bit more of a rundown on the app itself once I get them in the fridge. Okay, I just put it up on my iPad so that you can actually see now the four Play-Doh kegs. It is an iPhone device, um, app I should say. So when you go to the iPad version, you need to use the uh, increase decrease function here to pull it up on the iPad but here are the four devices the top plate keg is already in the kegerator and it's indicating 25% left in that keg it's a 9.5 liter keg the other three I've only just set up in the one at the bottom you can see indicating 2% that is the Plato keg that we just went through they had the box of tissues on it if uh, you just hold there I'll remove the tissues uh, let's see if that goes back to zero. there you go it's indicating that I cheers you've poured a beer okay it's indicating there's one percent left let's go in and have a look here so one thing I didn't show you earlier was the calibration process. So you can go to keg setup and tear the weight. So that will take it back down to zero. You can also put in the empty keg weight, which is this next line here, and then set the maximum keg volume. So if you're using a corny keg, you could set it at 19. You'd set the empty weight. I haven't weighed a corny keg yet, so I'm not quite sure what that is. You enter it in there, and then on the bar on the left-hand side here, it will tell you how much beer is left in the keg. Okay, so I've just run the power units. I've already run one. Here are the other three. These are the power cables. They've gone through the back of the Series X kegerator. Here are the three USB connectors for power. I have a USB hub just under the brew bench. So I'm just going to run these through down the back and up into the hub. Okay, so here we are. It's the Series X kegerator that can hold four kegs. I've run the cables through the back, as you saw. So here are the four power cables and I've numbered each of the plato kegs so that I know which one is which. I'm going to start from the back left one two three four. Uh, I haven't put these in yet uh, hoping that all four of them fit nicely. Okay, so I've laid the four out. It is tight. Now, you obviously want to have a little bit of room around each Play-Doh keg so that it maintains an accurate read. So, I notice at the front here, it's just hanging over by, we'll say a centimetre. The door does have a little bit of a recess, so... Um, Let's see if the door closes. So 
there you go, just, just closes. And there are the four. Going to have to keep a close eye on the readings to see if the touching or as each one of them touches each other whether that's going to have an impact on the accuracy of the read. I suspect it probably is going to but we'll have to see once they're up and running. So in terms of my tap setup I do have a five tap font. I've got four dedicated beer lines and I've also got a fifth line which I can well basically do as I please. I've actually run a water hose through the back of the kegerator. Uh, this water hose goes to a tap with a pressure relief valve on it. The mains pressure is too strong to actually run through this particular tubing. I've just chucked on a carbonation cap at this end which means I can take the fifth disconnect and either click it straight on here and then I've got water supply going up to the font or if I decide to stack two kegs on each other, two of the torpedo style kegs one on top of the other, I can actually get five uh, different beers in here. So let's check it out, this is 19 litre corny Place that on the Plato. That is on number four. Okay, so I can go to the app. Look at number four. It says 5.07 kilos. I've just chucked on the nine and a half liter Keking keg, and it is coming out here at 3.2 kilos. Okay, in terms of hooking up to Brewfather app, what you need to do is go to Devices. Currently I have my tilt set up here. There is a toggle which enables you to select Plato Keg. I have already set this up. So what you do need to do is once you click on or slide the toggle on Plato Keg, it asks you for an authentication key for each of your Plato Keg devices. In order to get that key, you need to actually go to, uh, or I should say, email Plato, and they will give you an authentication key. So the email address you need to go to that email address and ask for the authentication key, and they'll send you back a number, basically, for each of your Plato Keg devices and you enter it into the request within Brewfather. Once you've done that, you then have available on your screen the information relating to each of your Plato Keg devices. So you can see here, it'll indicate the name of each of the Plato Keg devices, how much beer is left, the last pour, temperature, and the original gravity, final gravity, if you have actually entered that information. One thing I have noticed though is, and you can see on here, the temperature apparently in my kegerator is in the 12 to 13 degree or 12 to 14 degree mark. I certainly know that's not the case. So I'm not too sure how accurate the temperature gauge is on the Plato kegs. I do intend to contact them just to check on exactly what the temperature range is and how accurate it is and it might need to reset the device. So there you have it, there's the setup of the Play-Doh keg management system. Obviously only just trying it, got a lot to learn about it. As you saw from the video, the plates are quite close together. I'm trying to keep just a slight gap between them to make sure that the accuracy of the read is okay. You don't need to be down to 50 mil or anything, but just so long as you know, well, just so long as I want to know really how much is left in the keg and give a bit of an idea on uh, how quickly the rest is going to be finished uh, before the next batch can go in, which keg I need to rotate out or which one should I finish off if I've got another brew that's ready to go in. 
So I'll give a bit of a rundown on the use of the system once it's actually up and running and I've got some real kegs in the system and I'm pouring from the taps and we'll look at it uh, in a bit more detail. So I uh, hope you got something out of the video. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.